Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. In this video I will focus on the top Wi-Fi thermostats in 2017. And those thermostats are the Ecobee 3, the Nest 3rd generation, the Ecobee 4, the ST75 by Sensi, the Honeywell RT9580WF, the Ecobee 3 Lite, the Sensi UP500W and the Honeywell Lyric T5. This video contains a series of easy to read comparison charts. Each chart contains a small set of features that these Wi-Fi thermostats are compared against. In the video, over 50 features are compared. The video is split into different sections that are easy to move between using the headings in the description below. These sections are 1. Basic specifications 2. Design power and connection 3. Screen features 4. Smart heating features 5. Energy and weather 6. HVAC compatibility 7. HVAC compatibility 2 8. Remote access 9. Home automation and 10. Ratings and reviews In order to keep your attention and to keep the video moving at a good pace I will not discuss every detail of every feature in this video These charts will be part of a very detailed written review at MySmarterHome.com and in order to keep the video brief only the most important points will be highlighted so let's get stuck in. Section 1 Basic Specifications The features that I compare in this section are 1. Manufacturer 2. First sold 3. Weight 4. Dimensions and 5. Price In terms of manufacturer there is a mixture of traditional thermostat brands such as Honeywell and Emerson together with newer companies that have only been around for a few years such as Ecobee. In terms of when these Wi-Fi thermostats were first on sale the Sensi UP500W is the oldest thermostat in this group and it has been on sale from December 2012. The newest thermostats are the Ecobee 4 and the Sensi ST75 which were launched a few months ago in April 2017. The next feature compares the weight of each thermostat. The heaviest thermostat seems to be the Ecobee 3 which weighs in at 1.4 pounds or just over 22 ounces. The lightest are the two Honeywell thermostats, the RTH95 and the Lyric T5. In terms of dimensions, the largest thermostat is the UP500W which is nearly 6 inches long by 3 inches wide by 0.9 inches thick and the smallest thermostat is the Nest 3rd generation which is 3.3 inches long and wide by 1.2 inches thick. The final feature is the price. Obviously prices are subject to change so please bear this in mind. The cheapest thermostat at the moment is the Lyric T5 which is just over, over $117 and the most expensive is the Nest at just over $248. In our next section we're going to be looking at design and power and connection. Every one of these thermostats is available in only one colour. The only exception is the Nest which is available in four colours black, white, silver and copper. Thinking about materials, all of these thermostats are made of plastic apart from the Nest which is made of stainless steel and glass. All of these thermostats are powered by a 24 volt C or common wire. If your system does not have a C wire, there are alternatives available. The Ecobee thermostats come with a power extender kit, PEKs, 
and the Nest can be powered by a 120 volts cable whereas the Sensi UP500W can also be powered by two AA batteries. Focusing, focusing on the warranties, the best warranties are available for the two Sensi thermostats which come with a whopping five year warranty whereas the Nest and the Honeywell thermostats only come with a two year warranty. Lastly in this section let's have a look at the Wi-Fi connections all of these thermostats will connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network which is what the overwhelming majority of us have at home. They use the WPA and the WPA2 security protocols. The Nest thermostat is unique in this group because it will connect to Wi-Fi networks running at a 5 GHz speed which are becoming more common in homes across the US. The next section is all about the screen features. All of the thermostats in this selection have colour screens apart from the UP500W and the Lyric T5 which are not colour screens but they are backlit. In terms of the size of the screen the Nest has the smallest screen at just over 2 inches in diameter whereas the RTH95 has the largest screen at 3.75 inches in diameter. All of these thermostats have touch screens apart from the UP500W. In terms of resolution the Nest has a top resolution of its screen at 480 by 480 pixels whereas the ST75 has the lowest resolution at 272 by 480 pixels. Unfortunately I could not find any details about the resolution of the Lyric T5 or the UP500W. The final feature in this section that I have labelled as proximity. This is the ability of the thermostat to detect that you are close by and to switch on or brighten the display. The only thermostats that can do this are the Nest and the Ekebi thermostats. The next set of features are smart heating features. In terms of programming all of the thermostats can be programmed manually which is when a user enters into in a set of times and temperature ranges that the thermostat operates within. All of these thermostats can be manually programmed via the app, many of them can be programmed via a web account and some of them can be programmed on the unit themselves. The Nest is unique because as well as having a manual programming function it also has an automatic setting that remembers the times and the temperatures that you like from remembering the adjustments that you make as you go along. This is called auto learning. Scheduling. All of these thermostats can have a different schedule for each day of the week. The Nest and the Ekebi thermostats can have an unlimited number of, of events within each day whereas the ST75 and the UP500W only offer seven events per day. To clarify, an event is one instruction such as turn on the heating at 6 a.m., turn off heating at 8 a.m. and keep temperature at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Room sensors. Room sensors are small plastic sensors that detect temperature and motion. They are placed in different rooms around the house and they connect wirelessly to the smart thermostat. Currently it is only the Eka B thermostats that use them. Geofencing is the ability of your smart thermostat to be controlled by the location of your phone. It is an invisible boundary that you can create somewhere in your neighbourhood and when that boundary is crossed by your phone, your thermostat is either switched on or off. All of these thermostats have geofencing capabilities but I'm not sure if the RTH95 does. The next section is all about energy and weather. 
in terms of energy saving the Ecobee thermostats promise savings of up to 23% every year and the Nest thermostats promise a saving of 10 to 12% on heating and 15% on cooling. The Sensi thermostats promise savings of up to 30%. The EcoB and Nest thermostats have energy reports. These reports will be emailed to you monthly so that you can see how you have used your energy in the past month. You can also access your energy use at any point by looking at your account on your app or via the web portal. There are only two thermostats that, that display the outside temperature. Both of these thermostats are made by Honeywell. The RT95 and the Lyric T5 are the ones that display the outside temperature. The other thermostats don't display the outside temperature because they provide weather forecasts. The EcoB thermostats and the Nest thermostat provide seven day forecasts which can be viewed on the unit itself or the app and the Sensi thermostats provide the current weather via the app and the RT95 and the Lyric T5 provide a 7 day forecast via the app as well. Our next section is all about the HVAC compatibility. All of the eight thermostats have exactly the same compatibilities. They are all compatible with gas systems, electric systems, oil systems and dual fuel systems. None of the thermostats are compatible with the minivolt systems or the baseboard systems. HVAC compatibility slide 2. With conventional and heat pump systems, all of these thermostats are compatible with multiple stage heating and cooling. In fact, with conventional systems, all of the thermostats are comp compatible with two stages of heating and two stages of cooling. With heat pump systems, all of the thermostats are compatible with four stages of heating and two stages of cooling, apart from the Honeywell thermostats. All of these thermostats work with a humidifier and all of these thermostats are compatible with hot water systems apart from the Sensi SD75 and the UP500W. Remote access. In this section I will provide an overview of the different ways in which the thermostats can be remotely accessed. Remote access is simply the ability to control a thermostat without physically touching it and so you can be on the other side of the room from the thermostat or the other side of the world. Thermostats can either be remotely accessed via apps for smartphones and tablets or by using an internet browser. So the first one is iOS apps. To access any of these thermostats on an iPhone or iPad, the device needs to be running iOS 9 or later. The Sensi ST75 and the UP500W require iOS 10 or later. The Android apps depends on what specific device you are using. You can find out more by visiting the Google Play Store on your device and it will tell you what version of Android you need to be running. None of these thermostats have a Windows 10 app. 10 app, probably because so few devices use Windows 10. The Honeywell thermostats are the only ones in this group that don't allow you to access the thermostats via any browser. All the other thermostats allow you to access your account using browsers such as Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome and Safari. And the next section is Home Automation. This is the ability of smart devices to work with other smart devices. In my comparison I have listed seven different home automation systems and compared how these eight thermostats work with them. 
If this, then that is an, is an automation website and app that enables you to connect different smart devices and different web services together. Only the Sensi thermostats don't work with if this, then that. All the other thermostats have dedicated services. Amazon Echo is Amazon's voice assistant. They are powered by two-way speakers such as the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Dot. All of these devices work with Amazon Echo. But in order for you to in order for it to work, you need to have either bought the Amazon Echo or the Amazon Dot. However, what makes the Echo B4 very unique is that you do not need to have the Echo or the Dot because the Echo B4, as well as being a smart thermostat, is also behaves as if it is an Echo or a Dot. Apple HomeKit is Apple's answer to the smart home market. Only three of these thermostats do not work with Apple HomeKit, and those are the Nest, the Sensi ST75, and the Sensi UP500W. Six of these thermostats work with the Wink system, the RTH95 and the Lyric T5 are the only thermostats which are incompatible with it. Smart Things is, the, is Samsung's smart home system. Five of these thermostats work with Smart Things. The three thermostats that don't are the Nest, the Sensi ST75, and the Sensi UP500W. My final section is about the ratings and reviews that these thermostats have received on Amazon. What I have tried to do is show some of the most helpful statistics to help us work out which are the most popular and most reliable thermostats. To state the obvious, these numbers will change on an almost daily basis, but I think the overall trends that these numbers reveal will not change that much. All but one of these thermostats have a rating of greater than 4 out of 5. The Lyric T5 has the lowest rating at 3.8 out of 5. The Nest has the highest rating of 4.6 out of 5. The Nest also has the highest number of reviews which is 13,719. In terms of, of the number of reviews its next nearest rival is the Ekabee 3 which has 3,893 reviews written. The numbers in pink are the numbers of reviews which are written every month. Even using this criteria, the Nest is way out in front of all of its other comp competitors. The Sensi UP500W has the most questions that have been answered of any of these thermostats. It has over a thousand questions answered. The Ekabi 3 and the Nest have had over 600 questions answered about them each. Looking at the percentage of reviews that have rated a product as being 5 stars, the Nest once again comes up out on top with a whopping 87%. The next most highly rated thermostats are the Ekabi 3 and the Ekabi 3 Lite. The Lyric T5 has the lowest number of 5 star reviews with only 50% of all of its reviews rating it as 5 star. The percentage of reviews that rate a product as 1 star can also be a useful indicator, but with this rating the better devices have very low numbers. What is incredible here is that the ST75 has 0% of its ratings giving it 1 star. The Nest and the Ecobee thermostat also have very low percentages for this feature. This comparison ends with a display of the latest price for each of these thermostats and as I have said before remember that these prices are subject to change. And that's it. Thank you for watching this review. I hope that my comparison of the top eight Wi-Fi thermostats will help you in your search for the best thermostat. If you have any questions please ask me. If, you've, if I've made a mistake, please tell me, or if you have any ideas for my next review, please let me know.